when you first come to see me and you've got prostate cancer, one of the key things that I try and do with everybody is to make sure that you choose the correct treatment for yourself. This will be dictated by many factors. It'll obviously be um, influenced by the type of cancer that you've got. It'll be influenced by the type of prostate that you've got, how big it is, how many urinary symptoms you've got. It'll be dictated by your own personal preferences. What's important to you? Are sexual factors important? Are urinary factors important? Do you yourself have urinary problems? Are you scared of certain aspects? What's your personal experience? It'll also be affected by how I judge the local problems that you have, how they will influence you. Local problems might include what tablets you're on, whether you're on warfarin, whether you've had various conditions like ulcerative colitis, whether you've got a previous history of surgery in that region. All those things will come into play to try and tailor the treatment to you. So after having a full discussion with you about the different types of treatments and knowing your particular priorities and knowing your tumour and knowing your prostate, then we can make a final decision about which treatment is likely to give you best outcome. Examples might be if you've got a very advanced cancer uh, but it still appears to be reasonably confined to the prostate region, open surgery may still be your best option. If you've got a less advanced cancer and you're particularly keen on a quicker recovery, robot-assisted surgery might be your best answer. If you have a very low volume, low-grade cancer and your prostate's not too large and sexual function is a very major issue, low-dose rate brachytherapy may be the best option. Whilst if you've got a very advanced cancer and you're over the age of 60 and your urinary symptoms aren't too bad, high-dose rate brachytherapy may be the best option to give you the best outcome as well as minimise side effects. If you've got a very low-grade cancer and it may not be a threat to your life, active surveillance or simply monitoring it may be the best answer. Having said that, everybody's different and it's critical that you participate in the, in the decision as to which treatment you have because you're the final person to make that decision.